All right, Matthew. So we always hear how bad it is to let your dogs jump on you. I noticed there you almost encourage him to jump onto you. So explain to everybody why you do that. It's a great stress or pressure release. And in obedience, this fellow really enjoys obedience, but it's still, there's an obligation here that's following out the command correctly. And so therefore, in his mind, it's serious. He wants to do it the right way. And during the obedience routine drills or practice, I like to have periodically the full release of stress or pressure that I have inadvertently put on or he's put on himself by having him jump up, equalize himself with him, a little wrestling position, a little physical encounter. So it takes away from the seriousness of the work and it also elevates his position in our relationship with God. I want him to feel like a heel hound. I don't want him to feel like he is under my thumb or he is subordinate. That, that, submissiveness is easy to bring about in a relationship and I work hard to do the opposite. I want him to feel that we're a team, I'm the captain, but he is a close teammate that I like working with and jumping up on me periodically when I release him is by my permission. So that's why it's not a bad thing. If a dog jumps on you when it's not your idea and you can't stop him from jumping on you, that's a problem. I'm using it as a tool, as a pressure release tool as an equalizing tool and it just furthers a relationship in a positive direction especially uh, in structured obedience that can be a little bit boring a little bit stressful for a dog thank you you're welcome